Well, hello everyone. This is Goosebumps Godzilla, and today I'm going to be talking about Saber from Welcome to Camp Nightmare, and how this mysterious beast is really a real-life monster in the Goosebumps universe. Viewer beware. You're in for a scare. And let's get started. So, Saber is one of the mini tests used um, in the book Welcome to Camp Nightmare because in the book, so the main protagonist goes to this camp, sort of, and it turns out the camp's really a government testing site, and they're testing the main protagonist to see if he's eligible to go to the dangerous planet called Earth. And so he goes through all these tests unbeknownst to him. Um, his friends keep disappearing. Um, just all this wacky stuff is going on. And while he's there, one of the tests he has to face is that he's always being stalked by some evil creature named Saber. Um, it's kind of like this mutated wolf dog, sort of. It's really creepy looking, especially in the episode. But anyway, one thing leads to another. It's the end. And, um, they reveal the whole test thing. And, um, they tell the main protagonist that Saber was really just an animatronic. But, is he... Saber just your average animatronic. I'm not saying that animatronic's alive or anything like that. No, I'm saying that they could have based Saber off of a different Saber in the Goosebumps universe. Um, and this mainly stems from the mobile game Goosebumps Horror Town. Because in the game, they, um, it's, I think, during the Welcome to Camp Nightmare event, uh, you can unlock Saber as one of the playable characters. And Saber is on Earth, it seems like, because I'm almost 100% sure, unless there's this huge twist, that all of Goosebumps Horror Town um, takes place on the planet Earth. Since there's a Saber in there, that would mean that Saber would have to be on planet Earth, unless maybe the aliens in Welcome Camp Nightmare sent down to Earth a Saber robot to do something? I don't know, that wouldn't make sense. That If they had to send down a robot, they would send one that looks like humankind. Right, so this Saber's obviously a native to Earth, and she cannot help being super hairy. And also, his design in Goosebumps War Town um, looks a lot more like a werewolf than he does a wild prairie wolf, sort of. Um, he really does look like a werewolf. He actually has clothes on, he can talk, which is a little different from the Saber Mountain Tent Nightmare, but he could have served as inspiration for the Saber we see in Mountain Camp Nightmare, because first off, he has the same name, and next, he's a hairy, humanoid, beast-like wolf, which is sort of what Saber is in Welcome Camp Nightmare. So there's clear evidence that Saber could have served, and the Saber in Houston Four Town, which is on Earth, could have served as the inspiration for the Saber animatronic in Welcome to Camp Nightmare. Another piece of evidence, well not a piece of evidence, but my next question is, what exactly is Saber in Goosebumps Four Town? He can't be a werewolf since during the whole game. He stays in that wolf-like form. He would need to be sort of like a humanoid werewolf. Except, he needs to be able to wear clothes, and he needs to be able to talk, and he needs to be able to be, um, to look wolf-like. I think I already said that. But anyway, so, looking through all the Goosebumps books, you would probably not find any other Goosebumps monster like this. It's definitely not your average werewolf. Um, but then I happened upon Full Moon Fever. So, I'm in Full Moon Fever, the main protagonist somehow never actually explains how they do it, but they turn into hairy beasts, and these hairy beasts actually can learn how to talk. 
And so they look like wolves or something around wolves. I think they can still wear clothes if they just wear a big size. Um, and just, um, you know what I mean? It's just clear. They, uh, they can talk. They're both hairy, wolf-like creatures. They can walk on two legs. It's clear evidence that the saber in Goosebumps Horror Town is someone like the main protagonist in Fulton Fever. Again, the exact reasoning for the main protagonist in Fulton Fever getting uh, actually turning into these wolf-like creatures is actually unbeknownst to us since Fulton Fever in the book is actually proven to just be a legend. But I'm pretty sure the Saber in Goosebumps Horror Town has a case of the same people as in Fulton Fever. So, there you have it, folks. That is my video about the real light saber. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below. Do you think the saber in Goosebumps Horror Town is the real life saber? Or do you think that's in like a completely different universe than Goosebumps? Or do you think Saber is just a normal and charming? Anyway, leave the thoughts in the comment section below. Again, please subscribe if you like what you see. And that is the end. And I hope this video gave you goosebumps.